Hi everyone, my name is Cor Bonner, and I guess, yes, I'm back. Um, I took a little bit of a break uh, because of some family issues, and there was a death in the family, and it took me away from being able to do this sort of thing. Um, to be honest, I probably still not got the time to do it, um, because the funeral's later this week, but I wanted to use the bank holiday to try and catch up on the backlog, because... I had a banana box that was on the floor full of all the recent pickups, about two months worth of games, and then went out and bought even more um, yesterday when my cousin came around and we spent the day together, and so I had to do something with it. It was taking up so much room um, that I just had to find somewhere to put these games. Um, so I'm going to try and do this in two, maybe three videos. Um, I'm thinking three, looking at the pile. Um, the first one is probably going to be Sony because it's the nearest stuff to me. Um, and then when I've done that, I'll be able to take those games, put them on the shelf, work through the next pile and the next pile. Um, and that will hopefully get us there. Now, what I am going to do though, is I'm going to go through a box first. Um, so this box is just all the random stuff that I've found that isn't a game but is something that's going into the collection or is gaming related some of it uh, I'll talk about where I got it from actually when I'm showing it so one second so this is the box now this box you can see it's a Nintendo box um, came from eBay and in essence somebody had listed a load of Nintendo freebies the stuff that you get when you buy a game off Nintendo so I bought that and I've just been filling it up with the random non-game stuff. So I'm just going to show it. Um, hopefully it's stuff you're interested in. If not, skip forward to the games. Um, so found a little Ivy Saw plush in a charity shop for 25p. He's got a bit of a mangled foot. Um, but other than that, he's all right. He's been through the wash once already. Um, probably do it again and see if that helps. Um, and if it does, great. It'll go on a shelf with my games. I'm not sure if he's legit, he's not got a tag on him, um, and I can't see anywhere where there would have been a tag, so I'm not too sure if it's just one of these cheap knockoff things, but he looks good, I like him. Uh, also from a charity shop, I've got another one of the Pokeballs, so just behind my head on this side, says there's an Ultra Ball, and these are the Tommy games, so you press the button, Hello, trainer. it asks you some questions, you give the yes, no answers, and then it guesses the Pokemon that you're thinking of. Um, I think there's a few of these. I think there's a Master Ball and a Great Ball that I know of. Um, but I don't know if there are any more. Um, but when I saw this for, I think it was 80p, I had to buy it. In the same charity shop that I got the Pokeball, I found a PS1 charger. Um, when you know, you know. Um, they'd just thrown it in a box with all cables, but it was a pound, as you can see. I haven't de-stickered this one yet. Um, so pound for a pat tested PS1 charger. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that and stick it in the box of spare chargers To be honest, it's the one charger. I don't have I've got lots of figure eights. I've got lots of um, PS1 and PS2 TV cables, but I don't have any of those So if I did ever find a PlayStation mini or PS1, I'd be able to power it up and build a little bundle together uh, Also in a box oh, in three bags of Pokemon figures. Um, there were two real uh, Tomy Pokemon. Um, so I've got a little Angry Pikachu, and there is another one in here somewhere, but I just can't see him. So we'll we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, also found uh, a Assassin's Creed figure in um, a charity shop for fifty p. Uh, I think it's Altair or Ezio, but I'm not too sure. Um, somebody who knows Assassin's Creed better than me probably will be able to say. But the articulation on this figure is amazing. Even the tips of his boots can move, which is just fantastic. I don't know if this is just like a, a Necca or one of those style figures or whether it's something that came with a collector's edition of the game. Um, but very cool figure for 50p. Um, in the charity shop, I've got a Space Invaders light. Uh, it didn't work when I got it, but I put some batteries in it. And in essence, it cycles through different combinations of the LEDs until eventually it turns off. 
Um, I just thought it was quite nice for two quid, so stick it on a shelf somewhere. The top of it, though, when it's lit up, projects up to the ceiling, and um, so you get little space invaders on the ceiling, so like a night light. Okay, right. Get into the end of the box. Aha! Here's that other Pokemon. Um, now I should have actually looked up this guy's name or girl's name. Um, I think it's Sandile. Um, it's a lizard, and I remember in the game only the male or the female evolves. Um, but just a, another little cool Pokemon that'll go on, in amongst all my Pokemon games. Um, and then we've got a couple more Pokemon figures. These came from my brother. Um, I think these were pre-order bonus Pokemon, but when he's been cleaning out his room because it was being decorated, he's given these to me. Um, so there's a Giratina, and this is absolutely fantastic. It just says copyright Pokemon on the bottom, so I don't know if it's a Tomy one. Um, but I've got a feeling that this is a pre-order bonus um, Pokemon from Pokemon Platinum. And then he also gave me, and I keep wanting to say it's uh, Arceus, but it's not. I think it starts with an S, it's Sylvani. Um, but again, I think this is another pre-order one on the bottom. It doesn't have anything, which I thought it would have had copyright Pokemon, but I'm sure these both came from some sort of pre-order. Uh, next, this came from a toy seller that I know. Um, he just had it in his shop, uh, a little Donkey Kong statue. Uh, he let me have that for £2. So, again, don't have many Donkey Kong or of the sub-characters that come from like the Mario Donkey Kong universe. Uh, or the Nintendo universe, I guess, is probably more accurate. Um, I've got Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, loads of all of them, but not many Donkey Kongs or Toads or, you know, those sort of characters, Kami, Bowser, um, Koopalings, all that sort of thing. Sticking with Mario as well, um, I'm not sure if I ever showed this, but when I was in my mum's loft, I found this and I, I jacked it for me. Um, and it is just a little Burger King Luigi toy. I think it's Burger King. Um, but... It's a pullback, so okay. pull it back. It goes along the table. Just a quite cool old little toy, so I thought I'd keep that for my collection. Um, getting to the end of this box now, I promise. Um, so I got a set of these for my uncle, uh, and they are Nintendo NFC uh, cards for uh, Amiibos. So the full set of Nintendo Amiibos is probably never going to be something that I go for. Um, but he recently bought a Switch and asked me about Amiibos. He wanted the um, Loftwing one. And so I told him, you can get it in CEX for this much. Um, and then he said, well, what about these ones as well? And as we were adding it up, it was getting into the three, four, five, six hundred pound mark to get all the Amiibos for Zelda that he wanted. And so we went on eBay, found a set of these. They come in this lovely little plastic wallet, or leather wallet. I think it's not pure leather, but yeah, this lovely little wallet. Um, and it's just all 25 that currently exist. I guess it's going to need a new one when uh, Tears of the Kingdom comes out because I think there's a new Amiibo been announced for that. Um, but I just... I haven't finished Breath of the Wild yet, which is a real bad thing. I got to like the point where I was just going around the shrines trying to get all the hearts and all of the energy stamina boosts so that I could lift the Master Sword and go into the Ganondorf fight the Ganon fight um, as powered up as I could but um, I lost interest and never actually finished it so I need to go back and do that um, and then last thing before we get into the the things that I actually bought that came in this box I uh, found this in a charity shop it's the 25th anniversary CD uh, it's not actually got the CD in at the moment because that's in the car I think it's got Stephen Lynch in here at the moment which was previously in the car um, but I've never seen it in the cardboard sleeve before um, I've only ever seen it in the, the, the actual plastic box. It comes in a two-disc box, and one of the CDs is the music CD. Um, so I thought this was quite interesting um, and quite cool, so I, I grabbed it for, I think it was 50p a pound. Okay, and then the stuff that actually came in the box. So this was up on eBay for £15-ish, including postage, um, and I snapped it right up. So I got a set of the Wario Wear Get It Together Sticky tapes, so these three rolls, he says try to open this one-handed. Get that eventually. So there's three rolls of sticky tape in there, um, just from the game 
Um, I'm guessing it's something that you use in the game. Maybe it's been one of the mini games. Um, but it was something that Club Nintendo did as a giveaway. Um, but I never got. Uh, I've got a Sparks of Hope uh, keyring. Again, my Nintendo Club Nintendo thing. Uh, a couple of Pokemon Snap things, which is what drew me to the bundle. So there's a big photo frame here. Um, with instructions on how to put it together. Kind of makes sense, right? Photo frames for Pokemon Snap. There's two plastic wallets, which I'm not too sure about um, why they're for Pokemon Snap, but still quite cool. Does it say what they are? This is not a toy. Choking hazard. If you kill yourself, it's your own problem. Yeah, okay, right. No. Um, Got a Pokemon Scarlet and a Pokemon Violet notebook, and this has three different colour pages with the different starter Pokemon on there. Of course, the only correct choice is the fire starter because fire Pokemon are the best. And then finally, um, a set of uh, Mario Kart stickers for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I think there's about five, they're open so I can show you. Um, so there's about five, six sticker sheets in here. So you've got a Yoshi and Mario Kart, different power ups, more power ups. Animal Crossing Racer with the different, uh, what are they cup badges? Zelda, oh, Zelda, <laughs> Link, with, uh, again, badges. And then, finally, Peach, with um, the starter whose name uh, I can never remember. So that's the box. Um, as you saw, quite a lot of stuff in there. Um, but wanted to do that and get that out of the way, um, because it was quite a lot of bits. Um, I am going to do a couple of games, because why not, hey? Um, I'll get the Wii out of the way, and then that'll just leave all the handheld stuff and the Switch. And the Switch is behind me on the couch, so I can't quite reach that just yet. Um, before I do that, though, there is one other thing my brother gave me. And it is an extremely faded Platinum Guide. Um, it's not in the greatest of conditions. As you can see, this, is, this isn't a trick of the camera. It really is some faded to shit. You can see on the back, that's the sort of colour that it should have. This has been sat on his window for years and the sun has just destroyed it. But at the same time, I don't have this guide. Um, I did want this guide and it is exactly what you would expect with these things. So, you know, you've got details about the different areas. Um, there's maps so that you can work your way around the underground. That's actually a pull out and a world map, which is cool lose that um, then you've got all of the detailed statistics on the Pokemon so that you know which Pokemon are the best ones to have and which ones you don't want to try and farm max IVs on because fuck that for a game of soldiers right and as I said I'm going to show a few games just because people came here for games and all I've done is shown all the tap that I've bought other than games um, so I've got a few Wii games to show um, so I've got Little King Story um, for the longest time I've been saying I've never seen this in CEX and it's true, I have never seen it in CEX until yesterday um, I've really fancied this uh, but I found it in a local game shop for 4 quid um, it's 4 quid in CEX I was happy with paying £4 for it um, and then as I say yesterday went into a CEX with my cousin and said look there's that game that I just bought that I've never seen um, these next ones came on the car boot. I think they were a couple of, I think they were two or three pound each. Um, so I've got Wreck It Ralph, um, which is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. I really like uh, Disney movies, but I really, really liked Wreck It Ralph because it combined video games with a Disney movie. Um, and so I had to get the game. Uh, this one was three quid, which I think is about the same sort of money that it is in CEX. Um, but Rampage, Total Destruction, you can see I've still not took the stickers off this one. Um, it does need a clean, um, the disc wasn't particularly great, but it was there and I did fancy trying it out. Uh, yesterday, went to a car boot with my cousin and found a really nice copy of Metroid Over M. Uh, it was £2, I did not have this game, um, but it's got the, the Club Nintendo points that I unscratched, it's got the manual... Um, it's got the health and safeties and the promo leaflet in there and there's not a scratch on the disc. Uh, I've had the box for this for ages, I've just not had the disc to go in it. And then the final Wii game, this one came from my mum. 
Um, she found this in a charity shop for, I think she paid 50p for it, and she said, I'm not sure it's worth it, it's probably a rubbish game, and then I had a look, and it's actually the best of the family game nights, and it's one that I'm missing. Um, so it's Family Game Night Volume 3, uh, it's got Game of Life on there, which is a game we played as kids. Uh, Twister, never played, not really the right shape for that game. Um, Cluedo, never really got the rules for Cluedo, but maybe playing the game will give me the rules. Uh, Yahtzee, love Yahtzee, uh, and Mousetrap. Cool, right, I'm going to do a couple more games, just because I feel like I, I, I'm not doing you a, a good service here by just doing them. So I'm going to show you some retro as well. So I've got a couple of loose cart SNES games. I've got some box SNES, but it's on the couch behind me here. Ignore the stuff that's on the chair. The stuff on the chair is all doubles and all stuff that I'm waiting for bits to complete and uh, probably end up moving on. Um, hell, I might even reach out to Lee and do a, a stint on the swap shop um, because I have about 20, 30 games now, which need moving on. Um, but in lieu of that, um, let's talk about the games that I actually bought. So first up, I've got Blazing Skies, uh, which is a Namco uh, SNES game. From looking at this, I think it's a flight sim, similar to Pilot Wings rather than a shmop. But with it being Namco, I'm not 100% sure. So it was a bit of an amble gamble. I saw it in sex. It was 12 quid. Um, and I thought, I've got a bit of credit. I'll buy it, see what it's like. If it's no good, it's no good. If it's good, I'll probably enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, grab that. Um, and then I also got um, the... I want to say it's the sequel, but I could be wrong. Uh, maybe it's the prequel. Um, but it's a Konami game that I really, really enjoyed. I played it on um, one of the uh, Let's Play videos that I did um, last year, the year before. I should really try and do that again, because I did enjoy playing some of these things. Um, and this is one that I absolutely love playing. Um, but it's Pop and Twin B Rainbow Bell Adventures. Um, so I played the first Pop and Twin B, and it's a cute em up, shoot em up. Um, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I still go back and try and beat the, the game all the way through because I didn't actually get a chance to finish it in the hour that I played it. But I did really, really enjoy it. Um, so when I saw, again, this come in. Um, into a local CX. I had to grab it. There is some pen on the label there, as you can see, but I'm hopeful that that will come off um, because the SNES labels are pretty laminated. So I think if I go very carefully with... I'll try furniture polish first. I'll try the old um, dry white marker on top of permanent marker to try and break down the pen. Um, but I'll try and get it off. Uh, and I'm going to show a bit more retro. So I've got a couple of bits here for the Mega Drive and a Saturn game. Um, Saturn game was a bit of an impulse buy and probably one that I shouldn't have bothered with. But it was there and I was there and I didn't have it. So I grabbed um, UEFA Euro 96 England. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I don't even like football games. Um, but it's got the manual. It's got the disc. Um, and behind the manual... Which is now on the floor. It's got a mail away for Gremlin and the actual included leaflet that it's supposed to have. In essence, I was in uh, CEX and buying a lot of games um, yesterday, and that was there. And I just said to the guy, How much is it? And he said, I think he said it was six quid. So I said, You know what? It's a Saturn game I haven't got. I haven't got much for the Saturn. Um, I mean, it looks all right. Um, I'll give it a go, um, and you know it's a, an extra game on the shelf for now. And then I've got some Mega Drive, as I say, to show uh, three new games for the Mega Drive collection, getting ever closer to the last hundred games. I think it is that I'm hoping for this year. Um, so I've got a complete copy of Cyborg Justice. Now the, you can see at the bottom there's some whitening where the cover's not been in and still isn't in properly. Um, but it did come complete with a manual, and that's what I was after, uh, complete with manual. I'm not that picky uh, with covers, and I know that I can probably find a nicer cover down the road um, that I can replace it with. In fact, a couple of the games on the chair behind me, a Mega Drive games, there's a California games there that I bought to get a manual. I'm going to just re-voucher it, and there's a Tiny Toons Adventure that I bought for a Konami case and a manual, um, and I'm just going to re-voucher that too. 
um, but eventually I'll find a nicer cover. The manual has been the bit that's been very elusive for me. Um, so I've finally got a copy of Cyborg Justice. Um, one that I showed Eddie yesterday, uh, his comment was, I can't believe that you're this far into the Mega Drive set and haven't got this game. And he's right. I, I just don't know how I got so far into the Mega Drive set without buying um, this. And it's Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Um, again, been after one that's complete with the manual. Um, and this actually came from a CX quite close to Eddie, unfortunately. A piece of the plastic is broken, but I can recase at some point. Um, and it's a CX that I got into a bit of an argument with the staff in. Um, and I'll probably talk about that when I do the Nintendo video uh, next. Um, but very happy with finally getting Mean Bean Machine for the collection. Looks to be in superb condition. Um, nothing that I'd complain about. And as I say, it just needs a new box. Um, maybe even just glue this box together for now. And then the final game that I'll show in this video, he says... Penultimate games that I show in this video. Um, got this one on eBay. It's one that I knew that I was missing and one that I've been trying to find, but it's proven to be, I wouldn't say pricey, but just an, a medium priced game. Uh, I think it's about £45, £50. Pounds. Um, but Prince of Persia, um, and again, as you would expect with me, because I'm not, I'm trying not to buy them without the manuals these days, but with the manual. Um, won this on an auction. I can't remember how much it was. I know it was less than the, the going rate, though, so I was happy to, to pay it and get it. And I say the penultimate game, so I'm going to show a couple more games just to clear down the pile a little bit more. And I'll do um, an accessory as well because it's a big accessory to get out of the way. So the accessory, he says, you might have seen, Dreamcast keyboard. Been after one of these for ages. Um, but I was determined to get one boxed um, because I've seen them boxed in CEX before and just walked away from them um, and finally saw a boxed one in really nice shape and it was 8 quid um, I think it was 8 quid um, it has the instructions, it has the plastic baggie around it it looks like it's never been uncable tied the, the keyboard itself so I was quite pleased with that for the price I paid and then the final two things. I promise this is the final two things. I'm not going to find any more to show now because this is already 22 minutes. Jeez. Um, but I did want to throw some games in there. So went into a shop in Berry and bought... Um, oh, I bought um, Chessmaster for the Game Gear. Uh, inside here is a piece of paper which has numbers on it and I'm guessing... It's maybe a scorecard against difficulty. Um, so it's got one through eight, and other than number four, S has a one next to it, and CM, which I'm guessing is Chess Master, has nothing. I don't know. I guess somebody was just keeping score. Um, but the reason I bought it, you see, it's a bit grotty, um, but it's got the ga uh, Game Gear plastic tray in there. Uh, it is broken, and it's dusty as all hell and whatnot, but my plan was to clean that up. Um, I didn't realise how bad it was, how rough it was. Um, so I'm going to give it a, a wash later um, and stick it in the Sonic box um, that I've got. So I've got a Sonic 1 Game Gear boxed, but it hasn't got the inner tray. So for now, this is going to become the inner tray. You can't even buy the inner trays, which is really annoying because... I bought all the Nintendo in a trays that, you know, for games that have come without them. It'd be nice if somebody did a similar replica for those. And then the final thing I'm going to show, and then we'll call it a day. Oh, what I'll do is I'll put these games to a side, record the next one, and then call it a day. Um, is Battalion Wars for the GameCube. Now, I found this on the car boot, um, and the woman had a tenner on it. So I wasn't interested, but she said, all the games are half price today. I just want to get rid of them so that I don't have to bring them out next week with me. Um, and so I thought for a fiver, I know it's disc only, but if I can find a box or print a box, then I've got Battalion Wars uh, for the GameCube. And I think it's about 20, 25 quid. So I thought fiver for a 25 quid game. I can live with that. And that's it. That's all I'm going to show. Um, I'm going to wrap up here. Uh, thank you for watching and bearing with 
the big box of random. Uh, in the next one, I will probably do the PlayStation stuff that I promised that I'd do in this one. Um, and then I'll do a Nintendo one um, with lots of Nintendo. There's so much Nintendo cardboard. Um, hell, it may need its own video, the Nintendo cardboard stuff, if I'm honest. Um, but thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you in the next one.